Hello guys, so we are back with another coffee break episode. I am back with Cleo again. She is currently laid down, she's really hot. I'm sat in like the shadiest part of the car park. Um, McDonald's was really busy, so I didn't want to park in there. So I've parked in like Tesco's, but she's panting already and I'm like, I'm gonna have to turn the aircon on. Um, but here she is. There she is. Um, we just went for a walk as well, like maybe half an hour before we came here, so she's pretty tired. Um, and I have got the windows open, so hopefully that helps. Because it's hot. Um, but yeah, so we are back with another coffee talk. It's going to be really loud because, so I'm not sure how long we can keep the windows open. But, um, I got given a topic this week. I'm gonna do my own interpretation of it, which I think is what I'm gonna be doing like every week pretty much. Um, so someone just asked what my favorite places to go, places to travel, my favorite music, and my favorite food. So I thought it's kind of like a get to know me kind of thing. So I thought I would just talk about that basically. So I'm gonna start with things at the moment or like things that I would like to go once like quarantine is over and like restrictions open up a bit more. So I'm gonna start with, I'm just gonna open it up because I can't remember like the exact way it was written. So. So it was favorite places, food, travel and music. So I'm gonna start with places. Um, so I might start with England because it's like favorite places near me um, so probably my favorite place is Weymouth um, which is where we go on holiday quite a lot we used to have a caravan there when I was younger so yeah I think that's probably one of my favorite places in England um, and then when it comes to abroad it's probably at the moment America um, specifically LA but obviously when I do a bit more traveling that might change you would have heard about that in the last video if you watched the whole way through um, and if you haven't then I will link it up above but yeah I spoke briefly about LA being like one of my favorite places at the moment I did really enjoy when I went to India that was quite eye-opening and like humbling um, because it's very different to here and like they appreciate things that are a lot less significant here I guess um, you know things as little as certain foods or certain games that you play like whereas over here you know we're not into board games or coloring games or you know simple things that we used to do it's all about like technology now so yeah they're into or appreciate a lot more simpler things which is quite nice because it makes you realize that you don't need a lot to like enjoy yourself but yeah i think india and America are probably my favourites um, abroad and then Weymouth is my favourite place here um, but that's just because I've been a lot we go every year for my birthday um, so we went recently for my birthday we went two years ago and we've actually been twice this year we went for a family holiday and then we went again for uh, my birthday so that was really nice um, in terms of food so for those of you that don't know I'm vegetarian I was vegan um, but I'm now vegetarian and dairy free um, so I eat like omelettes and stuff but I just try and avoid dairy as much as possible I have like oat milk and everything this is literally the one time that I'm not having um, like dairy free and that's because McDonald's is the nearest place to me and they don't offer milk alternatives so yeah I'm having to have dairy today but usually I wouldn't um, so yeah, I'm pretty good with it. I was vegan for two years and I've been vegetarian for about, since I was 15, no, since I was 14. So I'm 21, so um, that's like almost seven years. So yeah, a long time. I haven't eaten meat in so long. Um, if I ever slip up, like when I was vegan and stuff, I spoke about this in previous videos when people asked about like veganism. If I ever did slip up, it was always on like chocolate. I never slip up on meat just because it doesn't, it's not appetizing to me at all. Um, you know, like I'll say someone's meal looks good, but I'm not like really um, wanting to eat it. I'll happily go without. So in terms of places that are vegan, 
one of the places that I absolutely love, which I haven't been for a while because it's in Oxford and it's like 50 minutes from me, is Happy Friday Kitchen. So I'll put it on the screen here, but I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm just going to do a little screen recording for you guys. But it's all vegan food. They do, it's all like kind of junk food and it's just amazing. Like the hot dogs, burgers, fries, all of that that they do is just so, so good. Um, and it comes in like American style, like trays. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love their stuff. They do pizzas as well. Um, there's one called the Muck Daddy where they put macaroni cheese in a burger, which I just think is amazing. There's, there's a guy emptying his car behind me and I'm really curious about what he's doing. Um, but yeah, so that is my favourite place to eat um, here. And then when I went to America, I really liked this. It was like a salad bowl place and you would build your own salad and they just had a complete salad bar and you would literally just pick everything you wanted and it was so good. I'm going to try and Google it later and then I'll put it on the screen but that was really really good um, and you could put like falafel um, I don't know whether they had like chicken and stuff I'm not sure if it was like a kind of veggie friendly place but they had loads of like falafel bacon bits which are actually vegan because they're not real bacon um, yeah and that as well um, and Earth Cafe was really nice which is another place in LA um, I really want to try um, By Chloe, I think it's called, in London, which is a vegan place because supposedly they're really good. Um, there is someone trying to find a parking space and I really don't want them to come this way. Oh, they thought they could go out, but there's a barrier down. Oops. Um, also, little update, this coffee, so if you watched the last episode you would know that I ordered a normal latte and they gave me a toffee one, which I didn't ask for, and I didn't think that I liked toffee, and after slating the guy last week, um, it's actually pretty good, and I do really like it now, so I'm kind of converted to toffee lattes, which is just great, so, yeah. I wish they don't do ice lattes anymore for some reason I think it's because of COVID apparently it's too hard to make because it's really really hot like it's boiling so it would be really nice if they did a cold drink right now I'm really not in the right attire as well I'm in like jogging bottoms and a t-shirt which considering it's 23 degrees it's and the sun is shining which makes it feel hotter it's just not helpful at all yeah the guy behind me he's like emptying his car he's got like all the doors open he's taking loads of i think he's taking lights out of the car and then he's got his parcel shelf on the floor and like he's parked across a bunch of spaces and it just looks really unusual so i'm not really sure what's going on there um so that was my favorite place for food um that was my favorite yeah my favorite place for food and then in terms of my favourite food, ooh, I think it's probably got to be vegan bacon because whoever created that is just a genius because it's just delicious. Um, we're actually filming tonight, me and my sister, we're going to Tesco's after this, which I feel like I should have just gone now because I'm literally in Tesco's car park where I didn't realise I'd be parking here. Um, but yeah, we're going to Tesco's because we're doing a snack list. So we're going to be rating snacks. Um, so then we'll be getting all our favourite foods. So I can't remember any off the top of my head in terms of like snacks. I really like Biscoff at the moment. I, I'm obsessed with it. Um, Biscoff brownies, Biscoff cupcakes, just Biscoff spread in general is just delicious. If you like Biscoff, let me know because we will be friends. Um, so yeah, that is my favourite thing at the moment and yeah we're doing the snack list later so we're going to be filming that and rating our own snacks there are people shouting at each other which is worrying um so yeah that is my favorite like snacks are going to be in that so favorite music i am going to bring up my spotify 
because it's a real random playlist. It's a very TikTok playlist, I must warn you. Um, so one of my favourite songs, which, you know, I love um, Emma Chamberlain and all that, and if you keep up with her, you will know that one of her friends, or like friends, is Role Model, um, who is actually called Tucker, but he is a singer, and I was looking at Olivia, I think her name's Roy? I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name, but she's friends with Emma Chamberlain, and she, I watched one of her videos about her playlist, and she like uploaded it, and one of the songs on it was For the People in the Back, which is by Role Model, and I've just been listening to all of his songs ever since, and he's just great. He's really, really chill, um, and I really like that. And another song that I'm loving is Miley Cyrus' Midnight Sky, which is just such a bop. And what else? The Be Happy remix by Dixie D'Amelio. And I Think I'm Okay by Machine Gun Kelly is one of my absolute faves. Um, I think we're going to pull the windows up and turn the aircon on because Cleo's panting and I'm really, really hot. And this is... Ooh. And this isn't doing anything. Um, I need to get some petrol later when we come to Tesco's again because I'm running low. Um, so yeah, those are my main favourite songs. I did actually really like WAP, um, which you know everyone will know, but like everyone will know it because of the song, not everyone will know that I like it. But I don't know, I've heard it so much that I am just going off of it a bit now. Um, and I also can't really like play it around the house which makes it like you can't listen to it as much because you know you don't really want it singing what it's about in your kitchen when your parents are just sat there like it's such a it is like a more outrageous song so like it's a good song but it's not like family friendly if you know what I mean so those are some of my favourites I love Fresh Out of London by Jake Paul um what else um, for a minute with the MC I'm hoping that you guys are going to look these up if you don't know them because some of them are actually real good aren't they Cleo? she's, she's real panting right now she's real hot um, we are kind of sat half in the shade half not like the back of the car's in the sun so it's, it's a little bit warm in here um, and another one that I like is FML by Arizona Zervus which is another cool song. I might try and play these and then like, if it doesn't work, I'll just cut it out. Yeah, let's do that. So this is, this is for a minute. So that is that one. I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm only going to play them for a little bit. Sorry, someone was literally, um, they drove right behind me because I, I drove to the back of the car park to try and find the most quiet space ever and people are still parking near me and I'm like, there's literally a thousand spaces in this car park. This is, I think I'm okay. That's a scary for you. Cleo's just like, what are you doing? Um, so that's another good one. I really like Machine Gun Kelly at the moment. I used to listen to him all the time, but then there's a couple of new songs which I really like. Then... So that's the remix. So there's Black Bear and Lil Mosey have a rap in it. Um, 
so yeah that is my favorite songs um yeah i think that's pretty much everything it was quite a short one this week because i need you guys to give me some topics because i don't want to do ones that i want to do because then you guys might not be interested so comment down below if you have any topics that you want to hear for next week's i'm filming them every um weekend they go up on a sunday but i film them either on a friday saturday or sunday i'm actually filming it on sunday today because i'm late um because i had loads of cake orders so i couldn't uh, do it but um we are going to be filming it earlier next week because i'm going to be more organized and the days that i have orders is monday to friday next week i have cake orders and brownie orders so it means that i can film it on saturday so make sure that you give me a topic for next week you can give me multiple topics because I film them every week, so I'm going to create a list of topics that you guys want me to talk about. Um, so comment down below any of the answers to these questions, favourite place, food, um, places to travel to, foods to eat in general, um, and also your favourite music at the moment. And let me know what your thoughts were on this video, and I will see you next week for another coffee talk. Um, I am going to finish this now, then we're going, we're going to drop Cleo off and then we're going to Tesco's to get our snacks for this snack list video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I will have a new video up on Tuesday and Friday next week and then there will be another coffee break on Sunday. So yeah, bye from me and bye from Cleo. Hey. She is just glad to be getting out of this hot car. It has cooled down quite a bit in here. She's not sort of panting as much now, but it's still really, really hot. I'm sweating. I'm gonna change out of my jogging bottoms because I thought this was a comfy outfit. And it isn't because it's boiling hot in here. Um, and just in general. So, and I also can't walk around Tesco's in joggers because I don't know what it is. Like, I'm like talking again now, so I'm gonna end up starting this um, coffee break back up again. But just a quick note. I don't know about anyone else, but I could look like such a tramp when I'm at home. Like, I will happily do it. I'll happily walk the dog, basically in my pajamas. But as soon as it goes to needing to go out, I can't do it. I don't know how people go to Tesco's in their pajamas. I wish I could do it, because it would be so comfy, but I just can't do it. And yeah, I'm in joggers and I just can't do it. So I'm gonna have to change into something a bit more presentable because I just don't feel like this is the right outfit for that. But yeah, we're gonna go home now and we will see you in the next video. Bye.